Well, it was good news when Google Meet decided to introduce their own grid view, or so we thought, and that was to allow you to see up to 16 people in your Google Meet. And I assumed that anybody in excess of that number of 16 would be kind of in a little video square somewhere just off screen, but accessible. Well, what seems to have happened, and not just to us at Acacia, is that the grid view that Google Meet introduced is causing some problems. And I found an online chat, um, which uh, was posted four days ago. And it says that Google Meet crashes due to the grid view extension. And here's one, for example, that uh, we did some testing and found that 16 seems to be the number that causes the browser cache. I think they mean crash. Um, so he's wondering if it's related to the 16 limit. Well, all I can suggest is that in a meet, first of all, you'll remember that you have the options down here to change the layout. Now, as far as I understand it, if you're in auto, probably your screen will default to that tiled view. Obviously, the tiled view seems to work if you have less than 16. So hopefully that's not an issue. If you have more than that, I would choose sidebar. Not auto, but sidebar and not tile. You may remember also that before Google introduced their grid view, I told you about a Chrome extension that allowed us to see students in grid view. And if I enable that, you'll remember that it highlights anybody in the meeting with a green square when they're talking. And that seemed to work with any number. I've had it working with in excess of 23 students. But having said that, either use this origi original Chrome extension that I told you about, or close that. Go down to your layout options in Google Meet and make sure that you don't choose auto or tiled, but that you choose the sidebar view, which was what we had before the tiled view was introduced. And let's hope that Google can sort this out um, over the next few days or weeks. And anybody with any feedback on this or any experiences to share, do let me know and I'll share that with everyone else. So hopefully that's helpful and um, it's going to help reassure the people that thought they have to sell their laptop and buy a new one. Well, I don't think you do. We just have to be patient and go back to the way we did things before that Google grid view was introduced or go to the um, grid view that I showed you as a Google extension.